we're ready now to work in Adobe After Effects. So Adobe After Effects is a really complex software with uh, which you can do almost everything, uh, meaning computer graphics, adding effects, titles, processing the footage, um, I don't know, creating different graphics, so little animations. But of course, uh, it needs practice, it needs time, and it's uh, really, really complicated. I want to show you today how to do basic stuff on your video that will help you add some cool titles, logos, effects to your um, video. So I've opened Adobe After Effects. Um, I can simply drag and drop some files in here, which I would, will do right away. Let's say I'm dragging this one here. And it popped here in my project uh, tab on the left. It's the same uh, thing. I mean, it looks uh, similar to the other softwares from Adobe. Here you will have the timeline, the, the timeline here uh, below. And here you will have the window with your composition. Uh, I will explain what you'll be able to see here on the right. Um, a lot of tabs with uh, effects and possibilities to transform your um, your uh, files, your your things, your objects that you want to add to your composition. Um, and here will appear the tracks, the layers, and um, the possibility to change some things on them. So. Let's see, I have this uh, file edit here. I can make new composition from selection. Remember, like in Premiere, new sequence from clip, I could do that. Or if I want to undo new composition, yes, and select my presets. If I, I, if I know them, yes, I can select whatever pre preset I, I want, or I, cust I can custom my preset. I can see here the resolution, the aspect ratio, the frame rate. Um, there are also advanced options, but we'll leave them for, for the moment. Rename my composition. And let's say it's, um, I'm gonna choose this one. And I have here a composition. So <laughs> there are two possibilities to do this. Also new composition from here or using the shortcuts Control and N. Okay, um, this is our main composition window where we can see um, what's in it. And if we drag this one here, our footage, we'll have it here. Uh, as you can see, the file is really, really um, small. Yes, so I can uh, zoom it. Yes, yeah, so to keep the properties, you simply have to uh, press Control and Alt at the same time. Well, now we, uh, it's no need to, to worry too much about uh, the thing that we need, to, that we see the black uh, border. It's, it won't affect us for what I'm going to tell you now. So when I imported this video on my window, I can see something appeared here down below in my timeline. Here are the in and out ones. Here is the file, the duration. I can always change this by using plus and minus. I can uh, zoom in or zoom out. And I can select these in and out points according to the duration of my clip. Let's say I want to add this one. And I'll put it here right on top again. Yes, the same uh, problem. Let's say I'll leave it like this. Yes. and. I have the second track here. If I select one of my elements here in the timeline, I can open here the little arrow and I will see all the parameters that I can transform. So you recognize them from Adobe Premiere Pro, right? So you can have the position, you can change the position, you can change the scale. And guess what? By using the keyframes as we use them in um, Premiere Pro, you can add these little keyframes and change how you see the picture. So, hello, hello. Again. My name is uh, Laura. In real time, yes, the image will scale. I can always uh, move these a little bit further, a little bit um, slower or faster. 
let's see how we can do that if we have a title. I simply go here on T and press um, transition. Uh, I can go here to my right and go to character and change the font. Maybe I want this font Vivaldi and I want to make it really, really, really big. And uh, I don't know, choose other other elements that I, that I wanna have, no, no important now. And then I have this transition here. This, uh, this element here that is called transition. So it, it keeps the name that I created. And I wanna add on this one, transform scale. I wanna move these uh, keyframes actually to keep them also here, sorry, uh, here by clicking on scale. Yes, I copy paste them simply. And look what I've created now, I wanna, I want to I want to mute this one so that we're not uh, disturbed by them. I want to delete the keyframes that I've added in the video file, so I delete them and I press play, and you can see the transition is uh, the keyframes are uh, kept here. I can I can always um, modify them. Maybe if I want to see them like this, yes. Okay, so um, again, you can add keyframes by clicking the stopwatch. Yes, if, and if you don't like the way they come out, maybe it's too, uh, too direct, you can select them and with F9, uh, make them easy in, easy out. You can always change position. Again, with keyframes, maybe you want this um, text to be aligned or in the center or in the middle of in, or in the lower part of the, the image. I don't know, uh, play with it. The important thing for you to know is that everything that is here um, should be on top of, of the other elements so that you cannot miss it, yes? So that it's, it's visible. I wanna, discuss again this toolbar so here at the top you have the toolbar with the text again the selection tool um i can create shapes if i want yes i can create various shapes and again it's here and i can play with them i can make them let's say um maybe i don't know maybe not to uh how to say the opacity to to have it um, softer or the color or everything so think about these tools as um, things that help you um, work with your elements create styles that you want to create and um, other things that i want to show you is uh, here in your effects and presets window you can find you can uh, recognize or the all the uh, some of actually some of the plugins and the effects that you have all, also in the Adobe Premiere Pro but here at the more professional level so you you have um, blur and sharpen if you have a, a movement that is happening really fast you can use Gaussian blur you can use um, fast blur if you have, um, if you want to do a color correction, you can adjust, work with levels. I recommend to work with levels, work with um, curves. You can always have, um, I don't know, other effects that you can add. You can add filters, you can transform the image. You can always install other plugins to get really, really impressive effects like um, particles or I don't know, all sorts of graphics and uh, movements that you don't need to do all by yourself. Just download them. There are free, um, free plugins so that you can install. Maybe if you want to do a video based on graphics, on moving text in the image. So 
uh, you all you already have uh, this preset and you can easily change fonts or sizes or colors or thing, things like that, but you don't need to start from scratch. So it's, it's really helpful depending on what you need. So I recommend you to look on the internet and find all sorts of plugins. Of course, after you're a little bit familiar with, uh, with the software, now it would be a little bit uh, difficult, but uh, play with it and um, start experimenting. When you're finished with your um, work here in Adobe After Effects, uh, you need to export the composition. So you go to composition and you add to render queue. A window uh, appeared here at the bottom and it's best to um, choose what format you need according to, to your um, target platform online or commercial or TV or things like this. So lossless, it's good to have it like, uh, it's good to have the best settings here at rendering, rendering, of course. If we click on lossless, you, you will see this window where you can choose between uh, AV QuickTime. Let's say we choose QuickTime now. And if I press the format option, I can have uh, whatever codec I want. Let's say we choose the Apple ProRes uh, 422, high quality. It's a good, uh, it's a good codec, uh, which will export your um, your composition to a pretty big file size. Uh, yes, but you can always remember to re-export it in, re-import it in the Adobe Media Encoder, and then re-export it in a smaller file size version of it. Uh, as I said, it's good to have the same project in a bigger file size if you need to do color corrections or things like that. Uh, but you can also re-export it in H.264, which is really, really good, yes. But you can do this with the aid of Adobe Media Encoder. So let's say we chose our format, yes. We press OK. And then we'll select the, the place here. And I will simply press render. And it will render my composition in real time. As I said, um, I can see every single frame of it. So I hope you uh, understood a little bit how Adobe After Effects works, how the interface looks like. Uh, it's a really, really uh, complex software and um, experiment, try things out. Uh, there are a lot of tutorials on the internet, but I think it's, it's really, really nice to um, experiment yourself and to see, okay, uh, what does it happen if I move this keyframe? What does it happen if I use this effect or the other one? So um, it's really, really um, according to your needs. So when you imagine a thing, uh, try to, to look online and see how others do it. There are sometimes a lot of ways to do a thing, to do an effect, to create an effect, but um, it depends on what you want to have in the end. So really compare and really um, move along in the software and you'll you manage really, really good to create uh, stunning videos.